I am delighted to introduce Dr. William Phillips, a physicist at the National Institute of Standards and Technology, professor of physics at the University of Maryland, and co-recipient of the 1997 Nobel Prize in Physics. Colleagues describe Bill as inquisitive by nature and perhaps foreshadowing our upcoming conversation, famous for asking the greatest number of questions at conferences. Bill's not shy about asking questions, nor is he bashful about identifying as a Christian. For example, his Nobel Prize autobiography is salted with words like blessing and prayer, and in it he, create, he credits his faith for helping him balance the demands of work, home, and church when he was starting out as a young professional scientist. Bill's life models the vigorous pursuit of knowledge about the universe that is firmly built on a foundation of faith in the creator of that universe. People often ask me to talk about the relationship between my faith and my life as a scientist. I have a talk that I call Ordinary Faith, Ordinary Science. I think of myself as being an ordinary person of faith. I go to church, I go to Sunday school, I've even taught Sunday school. I change the light bulbs in the church, I sing in the choir. I'm an ordinary person of faith. And when it comes to science, I work in the lab, I get results, I write up papers, publish them in the scientific journals, my colleagues read them, they uh, uh, question some of the things that are there, they do their own experiments. Uh, we increase our understanding of, of physics that way. It's the way science works. I'm an ordinary scientist. So why is it that people think that there's some kind of a fundamental conflict between science and faith? I'm reminded of when our daughter, many years ago, was just going into high school, meeting new friends, and she described talking to one of these friends. They were discussing their families, and her, her friend said, well, my mother is a scientist, so of course she's an atheist. And our daughter said, you couldn't walk across the fellowship hall of our church after worship without running into half a dozen physicists. Why is it that people think that there's a conflict between science and faith? Sure, there are a lot of scientists who are atheists, but I know lots and lots of scientists who are people of deep personal religious faith. I have one really good friend who is a devout atheist. He's as passionate about his atheism as I am about my science. We love art. We go to museums together. He'll explain the context of a painting in terms of European history to me. I'll explain the context of a painting in terms of biblical history to him. We have a great time. We're great friends, but we have completely different worldviews. I remember the day that the Nobel Prize was announced. I was attending a conference far from home. They decided to put together a press conference. And I stood up in front of all these members of the press and friends and colleagues. And I began by saying, I need to thank a lot of people, but I wanna begin by thanking God for giving us such an amazing world in which we can explore and have fun. And that simple statement, in a sense, marked me as the religious Nobel laureate a guy who reconciles his faith and his science, a guy who believes in God in a really personal way, a God who sustains me and comforts me and accompanies me every moment of my life.